Hi guys. Uh, today we're going to work on a little fun art project. Um, now the project will take probably a couple hours just because it's an any time to dry in between um, the two stages. Um, but it's something fun and I thought you might enjoy it. Alright, I'm going to put the camera down and I'll show you what um, supplies we need. And, well actually here, we'll do it first. So you need a little cup of water, maybe about a quarter cup, eighth of a cup of water. Um, you need some paint brushes, some Elmer's glue. Um, you can either use food coloring or you can use watercolor. Um, I'm using food coloring today just in case somebody doesn't have watercolor at home. Um, m usually people have some food coloring, so you can use that. And salt. And then just some construction paper or art paper or really any kind of paper you want to use. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so I have it set up here. And I don't have anything on here yet. So you can either draw something first, uh, whatever you want to outline, um, whether it be like a flower or a sun or whatever you would like. And if you trace it, or if you draw something, you're gonna trace it with using the Elmer's glue. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of freehand it and I'm gonna draw it with the glue. So I think I'm gonna do a flower. All right, so I'm gonna start with the middle. Okay, let's do some petals. And you can kind of go as into detail as you would like, um, but just going to kind of do like a simple flower design for mine. Okay, let's do the stem, a little leaf, and I think I want mine to be a sunflower. So I'm going to do little dots in the middle for the seeds. Alright, so now we're done with the glue. We can set that aside. The next important part is our salt. Um, so I just bought the cheapest they had at uh, Walmart. Um, doesn't have to be anything fancy. And what you're going to do is you're going to kind of use it like glitter and you're going to sprinkle and you want to cover all of the glue with the salt. So we'll go ahead and cover it all up. I think I have everything covered. Okay. So now I'm going to just set this aside because we have to let it dry. But I have another one I did earlier and I had already started coloring it. And I did a rainbow. And as you can see, I kind of did the big salt crystals on this one just because I wanted to see how it would look. Um, but I did the same thing. I did my drawing, uh, covered it in salt, let it dry. And some of the thicker spots did take a few hours to completely dry uh, since it was covered in the salt. But I kind of actually let this one sit overnight and uh, started putting the colors on 
this morning. But we still have two of our rows left on the rainbow. And so I'm going to take my blue food coloring and I'm going to put two drops of blue into my water. And then I'm going to take my brush and mix it up really good. All right, now it's time to go in and start painting the salt. It's kind of fun to watch up close because the salt kind of absorbs the water and food coloring. Kind of makes your rainbow just come to life. So we're gonna go all the way down this line of salt for our blue line in the rainbow. And you can kind of do a couple layers if you want. It'll darken up and soak up some of the salt or some of the watercolor. Um, all right, there's our blue. And for our purple row, I'm gonna add some pink into our blue water. So I'm gonna do two drops of pink. I'll stir that up. And I did find out when I was doing, um, I did the red and then the orange. Um, the water didn't look very orange. It still looked pretty red when I put the, I mixed some yellow into the red to make the orange. Um, but once I put it on here, it did show up a lot more orange than it looked in the water. So let's do, uh, that's a pretty purple. Nothing wrong with a big rainbow right now, huh? But you can see like it'll just spreads through it. Just just pretty cool. Alright. Well, we have our rainbow colored. And that's it. So our final project up we have our cloud and our rainbow so you can do whatever you would like um, it's kind of up to you and what you feel like drawing but I just really like the technique and I thought it'd be fun all right I hope you guys have a lot of fun doing this I had a lot of fun doing it and I'll see you later bye